evidence-based medicine. What is evidence-based medicine? Evidence-based medicine is the medicine that is accepted by scientists and practitioners of reason and rationality in medicine and many of the critics of homeopathic medicine. Let me explain what it is. If you want to show that a medicine works because of the mechanism of action that you're proposing for that medicine, you need to demonstrate that that medicine works better than placebo. A placebo being a medicine which the patient thinks is going to help them, but is actually a blank tablet. In order to demonstrate a medicine is evidence-based, we therefore need to do a trial, which is called a doubled blind control trial. I will explain this. It means that patients, say for example with arthritic pain, are seen in a clinic by a doctor who then prescribes the drug for them if he considers the drug to be suitable for their particular arthritis. He prescribes the drug for them. However, unbeknownst to him, some of his patients will be prescribed the drug itself and some will think they're taking the new drug, but actually they're given blank tablets. Now what often happens is that both groups, A, the group with the drug, B, the group with a medicine they think is the drug, but it's actually placebo, both can get better because we know of this thing called the placebo effect that when someone takes a medicine that they think is going to make them better, they can get better. However, what you want to demonstrate in a controlled trial, double-blind trial of a drug, is that this group, the group that gets the drug, should do better than the placebo. So they both may improve even quite a lot, but this group should do better because they are getting the drug. Otherwise, we've got no proof that this drug is any better than just a person taking a pill that they think that it's going to make them better. Now, the critics of homeopathy will say homeopathy is not evidence-based. You haven't demonstrated this sufficiently. Homeopaths disagree. They say in our interpretation of the trials, um, we do think we have demonstrated and we'd like to do more trials to demonstrate this. However, I need to ask a very important question. And that is, how much of the average medicines that you get from your GP on the National Health Service or anywhere you get medicine, how much of that medicine is fully evidence-based? Is all of orthodox medicine evidence-based? You would assume so because these critics of, that are criticizing homeopathy for not being evidence-based, you would assume that's what, what is being implied, that is that orthodox medicine is fully evidence-based. Nothing could be further from the truth. All we can discuss is how much of orthodox medicine is evidence-based. We know that huge swathes of orthodox medicine are anything but evidence-based. Some of it is. In a pie chart published by the British Medical Journal's uh, uh, clinical evidence uh, notebook, there is a pie showing what percentage of interventions are evidence-based. It's not clear which interventions they mean, whether it's only orthodox or alternative. It's, it's not completely clear. But according to this pie, only 12% of interventions are fully evidence-based. There is no doubt that there are many aspects of orthodox medicine that are not evidence-based. Whether it's only 12% that are fully evidence-based, that's another question. I accept there's some some dispute about this chart, but no doctor can, can claim that the whole of orthodox medicine is evidence-based. I believe, therefore, that this attack on homeopathy using evidence-based medicine as a blunt instrument exclusively to attack homeopathy and complementary medicine and not as a broom to sweep orthodox medicine and the whole of medicine clear of anything that is not evidence-based and is not proved by these trials, to use it only to attack homeopathy and complementary medicine is deeply disingenuous. Deeply disingenuous. It is completely unfair and bigoted to do this. And I do not actually believe that these people have the interest that criticize homeopathy, have the interest of the patients at heart, nor do I believe that it's fair of them to use evidence-based medicine to attack homeopathy and not call for the whole of the NHS to be... Um, 
fully evidence-based in every aspect that it uses. Because that, I wouldn't agree with that, but it would at least be consistent and honorable. Why do these people use evidence-based medicine to attack homeopathy when they know that orthodox medicine is not evidence-based? Well, ask them, not me. My personal belief is that it's not that the fact that homeopathy is not evidence-based that, they, that they're so angry about it. What it is, is that homeopathy is an affront. It's an affront to their scientismic. And the word scientismic means the use of science in areas of human understanding and practice where it is not appropriate. Their scientismic and naively realistic view of the universe is affronted by this thing called homeopathy, which they can't fully understand how it may act beyond this placebo effect, which they then use evidence-based medicine to attack homeopathy exclusively. It's a very disingenuous and very unfair approach, and I don't think that the public should be fooled by it for one minute.